Hi everybody, this is Lesson 17 Homework. We're in the Succeed book, page 71. And this is just like our problem set today. We are going to be practicing our doubles. So whatever is in the first circle, we are going to put into the second circle to make a doubles fact. And then we will write our uh, equation. So it's stars. You can, there are lots of different ways you can make stars. You can do like that. So you make an X and then you draw a line down through the middle and down across the middle that way. That's a star. Or you can just try to do it freehand. I'm going to make five points. That's a little harder. Or if you know this way, you slant up, slant down, kind of like you're making an A. Go across, across, and down. That's a really easy way once you've learned it. But um, any of those is fine. And if you're really freaked about it, just draw circles. Don't worry about it. So there are two here. We're going to draw two here of whichever kind. I think this first time I'm going to do the snowflake kind of stars. One, two. So there are how many stars in each group? Two stars in each group. So our doubles fact is going to be two plus two. And how much is that? Two plus two is four. Here we have four four stars, so I'm going to start doing the easy, super easy way. One, two, three, four. So there are four stars in each group. What's the doubles fact then? This plus this. Four plus four is eight. Now remember the language that they were using today. The doubles fact means that we are doubling the number. We had two. We're going to double that. That means we get two more. And the doubles fact, two plus two equals four, means that if we double the number two, we get four. If we double four, we get eight. Okay, so that's new language that is really useful information for you to have. All right. Here, oh my gosh, super easy, only one. There is one star in each group. So what is that doubles fact? One plus one equals two. We had one and we doubled it. Now we have two. Three stars. One, two, three. There are how many stars in each group? Three. So our doubles fact is this plus this. Three plus three is six. If I take three and I double it, I get six. The last one has rule five. One, two, three, four, five. Five stars in each group. So what's the double sentence or equation? Is five plus five equals? Five plus five equals ten. Five doubled equals ten. If you need to pause for a second, go ahead. I'm going to move on to the second page. On page 72, just like the second page of our problem set, <clears throat> we are drawing an array now to represent our doubles facts. So two rows of six. There's six and there's six, just like we had two circles on the last page. Now we're just doing it in an array. Two rows of six is 12. 
6 plus 6 equals 12. 6 doubled is 12. We took 6 and we doubled it. Now we've got 12. So now we're going to draw the arrays, 9 of them. I'm sorry, 7 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have to draw pretty small. And if you're having a hard time fitting it in this space, you could always do it on just another piece of paper or on your whiteboard and then just use your array to answer the questions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have 7 in each row. 2 rows of 7 equals 14. And the doubles fact is this plus this. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 7 doubled. We had 7 and we doubled it. 7 doubled is 14. 2 rows of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I almost did that too big. There's not much room left. I have 2 rows of 8, and that makes 16. That's my doubles. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 8 doubled is 16. If I double 8, I get 16. 2 rows of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 rows of 9 is... Well, it's the same as this one, except we put another one on the top and another one on the bottom. So two more. Two rows of 9 is 18. The doubles fact is 9 plus 9 equals 18. If we have 9 and we double it, two rows of 10. I'm going to use all this space out here. That's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. So how many rows of 10 do we have? Two. Two rows of 10 equals... 10 and 10 more is 20. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. If I have 10 and I double it, 10 doubled is 20. Good work. Pause if you need to copy any of that. If you're checking your arrays, go ahead and pause because I'm going to be moving my paper around to look at number three now. Number three asks that we look at our totals. And we are going to list all the totals from problem one. So problem one, these are the totals. Four, eight, two, six, and ten. And we're going to list those right here. I'm writing a list, so I'm putting a comma in between. I have 4, 8, 2, 6, and 10. Now they want us to list the totals from problem 2. So here are our totals. 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Again, I'm going to write a comma in between because I'm making a list. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 
So looking at these numbers, are these even or not even? These are the even numbers. When we skip count by two, we get even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now, there are a lot of ways that these numbers are the same. They are all even numbers. They are all doubles, the sums of doubles, right? In what ways are they different? They're not the same numbers, are they? When I have two, the next number is four, I've added two. The next number is six, I add two. The next number is eight, I add two. The next number is 10. So one way that they're different is each number is two more. Than the last. Can you think of any more ways that they are the same or that they are different? I know this was a fairly easy lesson. This is just the beginning of talking about even and odd numbers. So thanks for working and I'll see you next time.